Once that's done, I'm going to get... Okay, clearly not matching my skin tone. I don't know why I said it's so weird. I've got like 20 jillion fuzzies on my face right now. What the heck? Okay, that's it. We're done for the video. I almost busted my booty. Nope. Hello my beautiful babes, what is up, it's Brandy. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you are new, welcome. If you guys remember, last year I was Chucky. So it seemed only fitting to be the bride of Chucky. I wanted to do something kind of similar with how I did my Chucky look last year. So I rewatched the entire Higher child's play collection and towards the end of the bride of chucky poor tiffany was burnt to a crisp and boom a light bulb went off and somehow i managed to create this look so if you guys are interested in how i transformed from this to this then you should definitely keep on watching i love how i put the clips in to make sure my hair isn't in my face and then i have these random pieces of hair that just don't want to stay in place all right i think this is as good as it's gonna get first things first is blocking out the brows and last time i tried something different because i didn't have a glue stick during that time you think i would have gone out to buy an actual glue stick to make my life a whole lot easier but I didn't so instead of using the soap brow and the got to be glued I'm just gonna use the got to be glued today as you guys can see my tail barely has any hair and that usually gets covered up pretty easily it's usually right in the front and the middle that struggles a little bit so I'm doing my best to brush it completely up that way no hairs are grouped together as it's drying, I'm just pressing it down, making sure it's all nice and flat. While this is still drying, I'm going to work on this one and begin by grabbing my concealer. This is my e.l.f. 16 hour camo in the shade medium neutral and this is their matte finish. Just patting this all over since this worked so well in my last video i'm going to be using the same product again to set the brow in place using my maybelline fit me matte and poreless powder this is in 253 obviously it's not 100 covered still don't worry i'm just going to go over it again with some concealer as well as powder i'm so excited for this look i was about to forget the brow completely and just leave it as is that's not what we want to do <laughs> we need the iconic tiffany brow so i'm gonna go in with my milani weekend brow tint this is in the shade espresso <laughs> i can't tell if i love it or i hate it i don't think i will be able to tell until it's completely done just because it's so different than how i normally do my brows and the rest of my makeup isn't done <laughs> After a little bit of finessing, I actually like the brow. I just went in with a little bit more concealer just to clean up the edges. And I also went in with a little bit of dark brown eyeshadow. You don't have to do it. It's just something that I felt like I needed to do. But now that we have a brow, we can officially move on to the eyes. I need some makeup on my face. Pronto. For my eyeshadow, I'm actually going to dip into my beautiful Blood Sugar palette and dip into the shade in this bottom corner called Coma. I'm just applying this in my lower portion of my crease. Normally, I would be asking Alexa a million questions about her hints as to what she's going to be for Halloween since that's something new within my Halloween series. However, it's still way too early to ask. At least, I'm pretty sure. You know what? Let me just check. Alexa, what do you plan to be for Halloween this year? Oh, tune in soon. Singing and a high note. I don't know why, but I immediately thought of The Wizard of Oz. That is so random and we didn't even get a clue besides singing. It's good to know that at least my next video, I can start asking some questions and begin to guess. I know it's like very silly, but honestly, I had so much fun doing it last year. I have to do it again. Then taking the shade right above it, which is Root Canal, blending this all over my upper crease. Oh, I just hit the mirror. Not what I meant to do. <laughs> I almost dipped into the wrong shade too. That would have been lovely. That is so stinking pretty. I'm going to go back into Coma just to deepen it up just a hair. 
Once that's done grabbing the shade Cavity, look at how beautiful this pink is. I can't remember the last time I dipped into the shade, but my goodness, she's gorgeous. Apply this to the edges of the last color that we placed. It's definitely going to take me a little bit longer to build this up than normally would, but that's to be expected with all the powder on my brows. <laughs> Not even half of my face is done, but even just a little bit of this, and I am slowly starting to see the vision and feel so much better about myself. <laughs> now, up on top, it needs to be blended a little bit more just because I have a lot more eye space than I normally would. So I'm gonna go into the shade Sugar Cane and a hint of Tongue Pop, but mostly Sugar Cane. Making sure to blend that all the way to the new brow bone. <laughs> Remember how I said I wanted coma in the crease area? I low-key changed my mind. I wanna add the rest of that onto the lid. Switching over to the cremated palette, dipping into Hearst. Hearst? <laughs> I don't know why I struggled saying that for a second, but all right. Lightly tapping this all over the lid, ever so slightly. And before I start building it up, I'm gonna go back in with that brush with Coma and just overlap it together. So the purple can be even darker, but not too dark. I'm gonna stop here just for a second because I'm gonna quickly hop off camera, do like, it's more than half of my face but not the full face. Basically everything besides like this. You'll see. <laughs> Remember what I just said a second ago? Yeah. Me trying to not do my full face was a lot harder than I thought. Like I was already doing it and I was like, I am making more work for myself. But I realized a little bit too late. Anyway, here we are. Besides doing my full face, I also added some black liner in my top and bottom waterline. Now, let's finish off this eye, starting off with highlighter so I don't forget it. This is also what I am currently wearing on my face. It is the JSC Skin Frost in Sarcophagus. Using this to highlight my brow bone, and since I have a round face, I like to round it off, and that way I can connect nicely to my cheek. Oh my goodness. There we go. <laughs> was struggling so hard there for a second. Oh, a fuzz. <laughs> Starting off with Coma, putting this as close to my waterline as I possibly can. I was just going to go in with Tongue Pop, but I'm actually going to mix that shade with a hint of Cavity. Let's see how that works. This will look absolutely amazing or like complete do do. She is smoking out that bottom lash line exactly how I wanted to. Wow, that's beautiful. I was about to do the other side of my eye and I was like, wait a second. No. And voila, the bottom is done. Last but not least is the inner corner and I'm gonna keep it very simple, sticking to a beautiful, beautiful silver. So dipping into my cremated, this is in the shade Diamond Ashes. Don't ask me why I'm holding the palette so stinking awkward. <laughs> Sometimes I do things and I'm like, why am I doing that? Ooh, I put a, I put a literal chunk in my stinking eye. What is with me? I want it on my eye, not in my eye. What am I doing? <laughs> For lips, I'm starting off with Thrill Seeker by Maybelline and then in the center, going in with JSC's Red Rum. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is the perfect Tiffany Valentine lip. Last but not least, to finish off the beauty portion is her lovely beauty mark. I don't really know what side it's supposed to go on. I'm just gonna put it on this side. Listen, it did the job, but I'm definitely gonna go with black paint because <laughs> she's low-key patchy. I really wish I did my full face like this because I'm living for this look. And with the wig, oh, I can just see it. You know what? Maybe I'll just be the bride of Chucky for Halloween instead of the corpse bride. I don't know yet. Clearly, I'm very indecisive. <laughs> but now it's time to ugly this side up. I'm gonna begin with my liquid latex, just something that I bought from Party City. You can literally use anything not anything but i mean like any liquid latex 
yeah, let's be specific here. I don't want you guys to be putting like Elmer's glue on yourself. Ripping up some tissue. I also got a little cotton ball for just a wee bit texture. Before I do anything, I'm going to be smart and quickly go into my eyeshadow palette. Grabbing any light brown shade. Only reason why I'm doing this is because I just want... A general outline of where I want the burns to begin and end. You don't have to do this, but I just want to do this because I want it to be very specific. Now I can begin with the liquid latex. Just gonna go ham. Now the main reason why I covered up my brow is because I already barely have any baby hairs and that's all I need is for the latex to rip off the little brow hairs that I have. <laughs> So that is just basically somewhat of a barrier. Using my fingers to go along the edges. Don't get in your eye. <laughs> Please do not do that. Tap 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 tap. I can't tell if I'm delusional or what at this point. <laughs> Ripping random pieces and slowly placing that down. My skin is not gonna like me afterwards. <laughs> but it'll be worth it. Once the tissue is placed, I'm gonna go in with more liquid latex. This will harden up the tissue and keep everything where it's supposed to be. Is that an actual baby hair? Oh no, get out. <laughs> Taking some cotton balls, putting that randomly throughout my face. There really is no like right or wrong way to do this. I'm just literally chucking this stuff all over and hoping for the best. Oh, I forgot how annoying this I really should have, like put my hair back or something like properly back don't forget to go over the cotton balls with latex too it'll help blend everything together we're going to be doing a little bit of multitasking so while this is drying we're going to just do the quick outline of where the paint drips are going to go i'm going to go back into my bloodlust take any red shade and do very light shading throughout the face my favorite thing about doing looks like this is that it doesn't need to be perfect the sloppier, the better. Oh, I got I got a fuzzy. I got a fuzzy in my nose from the cotton ball. <laughs> Time to make the blood look more realistic. So I'm going to go into my professional face and body paint. You guys already know my Moran 30 count palette. I am obsessed with this as well as rotating between a bunch of their brushes. I'm going to begin by going with the lightest red. Not only is the shadow just a general outline, but it also helps give slightly more definition and that's exactly what I want and to somewhat blend it out I'm just gonna lightly tap then darkening it up using the next darkest red shade and I'm just gonna do random light strokes uh really guys <laughs> whatever it is what it is if you guys can hear it i am so so freaking sorry but as i was trying to say before i got rudely interrupted it's time to add dimension to the burns because she is finally dry i'm starting off by grabbing the shade pricked famous all over in my eye socket making sure it blends onto the latex i am gonna go in with paint but i want to get that lighter shade going on first make sure it's going all over into these little tiny crevices before i start deepening everything up so i'm just gonna quickly go over all the latex now to really bring this to life i'm gonna go back in with the red paint and lightly go over the entire thing. It doesn't have to go into every little nook and cranny. That's why the eyeshadow was there. And it will also help naturally give some more definition. Basically doing the same thing that we did with the blood to deepen this up. Starting off with the light red, switching over to the darker one, brown, and then black. I am going randomly throughout my face. There is no right or wrong way, just whatever it is I'm feeling. <laughs> Rotating between my cremated as well as the Orgy palette. And even though I feel like this is a given, I'm gonna say it anyway. Don't wanna forget about blood sugar either. There is no specific shade that I'm going for within each palette. It's just gonna be a mixture of red tones, a little bit of black and gray and the brown just filling it in where i feel like things need a little bit more definition and just more more gore <laughs> now for some more fake blood i'm gonna go and just spray this on the tissue and lightly dab that all over 
I want to mix the fake blood with the paint, so I'm going to quickly remove this bad boy. Take my paintbrush and just get some on there and lightly go over the blood splatters that are already there. So this is the final look, you guys. When I tell you I am so freaking proud that I could literally cry, I mean that. And I'm going to do my absolute best not to cry. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm supposed to be a bad bitch. Stop crying. <laughs> These are happy tears. Like I always say, it's one thing to envision it in your mind and then literally have it on a piece of paper versus the real thing. And just to see it in person come to life, it's truly breathtaking in a very weird way. <laughs> And no matter how long I do the series, I will forever impress myself. It's like I, I don't know what I really can do until I actually do it. Does that make sense? Well, real quickly, let me go into the costume. I know I didn't really talk about the costume in my last video. It was just the same dress that I'm wearing now, which I will show you in just a second, and a flower headpiece. I didn't go all that crazy. I kept it very, very simple. But this one, the fantasy was a little bit more brought to life and I just, oh, I love it so freaking much. I got this shimmery grayish white bodycon dress that is like bunched up and unfortunately I didn't have a leather jacket so I just worked with what I got and I think it worked out pretty darn good which is my black denim hoodie. Now I will say this is a tiny bit big on me so it doesn't give me the best shape but you know what? It's okay. As for accessories, obviously you guys see I have this cute choker heart. I wanted to include her like tattoo that she has of Chucky on her boob but I really didn't have the patience to paint it so I thought the heart was a good compromise and this hair is so freaking big you guys saw it in my Barbie video this was I think about 12 bucks and the volume the realness it's just truly breathtaking and I love it so much you can't 100% see these adorable freaking earrings they are little knives with bloody with bloody with blood on them i was about to say bloody hands but no it's just a knife with blood on it obviously fake i feel like that's a given but if you take that out of context it might seem a little bit odd so i just want to clarify that <laughs> and of course the look can't be complete without a prop one of my favorite hair mirrors from jsc and then of course i also got this fake knife but honestly, I like this better. With all that said, that is basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, as well as hang the notification bell. As always, all the products that I mentioned today will be listed down below in the description box. I love you guys so, so much, and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye!